to be a farmer, you have to have access to market, for example. So I, I wanted to be near niche. I wanted to have decent access to niche. Um, I needed to, wanted to be in an area where there's possibility of expanding so that we have a lot of other fields behind us and small villages nearby uh, where the desire for local people to stay in the village is low, uh, where there are families who are selling their, their farms. Um, and, you know, I wanted to stay in the general southern Serbia region because that's where my family comes from. I find the people in, in Niš to be uh, really friendly, welcoming, innovative in some ways. In America, a lot of people dr drink Lipton tea. And uh, Sir Lipton was British, and he uh, ventured to Sri Lanka. And it's because of his venture to Sri Lanka that we have Lipton tea today. Uh, there were a lot of inspiring people who did something unusual outside the boundaries. So I, I wanted to try the, the same. That's about the only thing I want to eat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you can, if you can give me a good thick chorba, um, pasu, um, punyana paprika, sarma, uh, I'm happy. The government institutions I've had a lot of trouble with to, to, to deal with, but recently a great improvement was uh, the procedure for buying land. And I was amazed the first time that when I bought this property here, I had a terrible time to get my name put on it. And Epps wouldn't turn on the power until my name was on the land, and it and it took a long time. In from my perspective, a long time from what I'm used to. And uh, now it's streamlined. You go to the noter. The noter himself submits the purchase to the cataster, and one week later, I I had paperwork at my door. I was amazed. You know, that's very very good. In America, everything is modern. Everything is the newest and latest and digital. So in America, the Amish stand out so much more than in, in the Serbian countryside. So there's not, not as many questions. People look at me different, more for my dress than anything else. For me here in Serbia, I try, I'm trying to apply the, the underlying motivations and practices in a, in a different location. So for example, in America, the almost no Amish communities allow, um, allow electricity. But in Serbia, you don't have uh, a market for non-electric tools. Everything today that's being made is being made for electricity. And there's no, uh, the Amish are over 300,000 strong in America. So we can produce our own tools because we have a market, but here there's no market. So uh, I, I still have to be practical, you know, I have to, in some way you might say make a compromise, but still to have similar goals, to engage people on the farm, to uh, try to live a Christian life, to follow the example of Jesus, to share the word of God with people, um, and to try to better each other's life in, in small ways, whatever, whatever ways we can. I don't know what is in the future, uh, but I don't have plans to, to go back to the States and to, to do anything there. I'm investing myself here. I bought the second farm recently, so 10, he 10 hectares total. Uh, yeah, I don't have a vision for anything else, but if my, you know, my mother becomes sick, becomes ill, I have to help, you know, I have to do my part to, to help in that. So it's not 100%, but it's pretty strong, yeah.